Uh, did any of you guys hear that in church growing up? Like, pray continually. Yes. And you're like, and you're like, he must be hyperbolic here. He might, must be like saying something that he doesn't actually mean because nobody can pray continually. Or you think like, oh, it would be really nice to have that much free time so that I could pray continually. That would be great. Yes, Paul, please give me the money that I need so that I can pray continually. Um, and yet this is actually not the first time that Paul has told us to do something day and night in this letter. So if you just go back one chapter to chapter 2, verse 9, Paul says, we worked night and day in order to not be a burden to anyone while we preached the gospel of God to you. And so you should be asking the question like, okay, so Paul, were you working night and day or were you praying night and day? And Paul would, he would just nod. He'd be like, yes, yes, I was doing both. Which should redefine our concept of how the life of a Christian, whether you're young or old, works. And as you get older, it should become more and more like this. It should redefine our concept of prayer. It's not just the act of closing your eyes and being quiet. Paul actually talks about it as a place where his spirit lives. He, I mean, he says, what are we going to do with all the joy that we have in the presence of God? And it's like, well, Paul, you're not in the presence of God. You're in Athens. And he's like, well, it's possible to be in two places at once because of what prayer is. Paul says that he's in the presence of God. He talks about that joy because of these new believers, and he says, do it day and night. Pray day and night. It simply means that everything that's happening in Paul's life is coming through the filter, and it's going up to God. So the hard things in his life, or the easy things, the good things in his life, Paul is bringing them into the presence of God. So this ability to pray in diverse moments of your life is actually a spiritual practice. Again, going back to that kind of perseverance thing from the beginning of doing something over and over in the same ways that we want to see results in our life. If you want to see real results in your life of joy, peace, love, all of the things that, that Jesus exemplifies, become a person of prayer. Learn how to spend time in prayer.